Hello and welcome. I'm Tula. This is my platform. Okay, Virgo, this is your love reading, whether you have Virgo as a sun, moon, rising, or stellium. And stellium just means that you have three more placements of a zodiac sign in your natal chart. Now, for those of you that are crazy about a Virgo, welcome. You are always welcome here. For those of you that are new, let me just say that I have been reading energetically individuals for decades. It all began when I was a young child. And I really honed in those skills. I mean, it was strong. And so I just love being able to help the collective. I understand very well. Not everybody can afford a good reading. I do my very best in the time that I'm allotted to give my all into the readings. That way you have some clarity on a situation or a co confirmation. And if it doesn't align with you, it's just not your story. Never make it fit. Now, as a timeless reading, for those of you that are new, just know that just means that whenever you come across this reading is precisely when you were meant to. Okay, and I incorporate oracle cards in with the tarot cards because they do one of two things. They give confirmation or they give insight into something that I or the tarot could not pick up on. So let's see how, what comes across for you, Virgo. Integrity and children. Okay, so ask yourself, whatever situation you're in with someone, whether it's a sticky situation, a nasty situation, something mediocre, you have to ask yourself, does this truly align with who you are trying to be, your current values and your morals? And most importantly, how does this affect your children? If this is asking you to question your integrity, do not think for one moment that your children do not pick up on things, okay? And Virgos, I know you are sharp. I know you're sharp as anything. You already know this. So for a lot of you, it's a confirmation. For others of you, you have a child with this person. Now your finances have been kind of in the red. So it's definitely caused a strain in this connection. I also feel for some of you, you are spending more on your person than they are. I feel like it's frivolous spending. Now, I don't know what's going on with the Zodiacs, but a lot of you are getting the messages for time apart. And it's a lot of changes since the April 8th solar eclipse where I know for certain Zodiac signs, really for everyone and, and major areas of our life, if the foundation with somebody is not strong, it's going to break, period. It's going to fall apart. So time apart. You need to distance yourself from this person if you can, because you need to be able to see clearly. Some of you are in denial, and that's why you are here. So let this be some kind of, give you some kind of insight to give you direction on how to navigate what you need to navigate, because you have kids involved, okay? There are children involved in this connection. Self-care is muy importante. Even though I am Greek, I did learn quite a few years of Spanish. And I love saying that because it's true. That is very important. Self-care is everything. I mean, how can you take care of others if you cannot take care of yourself? Now, it's safe for you to trust in a situation of having time apart. I'm going to tell you energetically, I feel like trust that you need time apart. Okay. Let's see one more. Oh, what came out like that longing? Someone is secretly yearning for you. I feel this could be someone from your past, but we'll see as more cards are revealed or if I can energetically peel it, pick up anything. I really want to focus in on these romance angel cards because this is kind of, this is kind of general. Now, just because you have time apart does not mean that it's over for good, but time apart, if you're capable of doing that, um, I understand some of you may be living together and it's not very easy. Whatever it is, you need to nurture yourself. You need to nurture your peace. You need to establish peace. I feel some of you don't have peace. Okay. Some of you are very, very busy. Oh, did you see how that flew out? You know why? Because you need to let go of some control issues, Virgo. Okay, you're very busy because you're involved in so many things. But you could be denying the fact of what's happening in your life, in your personal life, in your love life, because this is a love reading. Healing family issues. Now, there may have been something hurtful 
that transpired that the child may have witnessed. And there's a real focus here for some of you that you need to heal family issues, that your love life, I don't want to say has gone to shit, but is really on the rocks right now because family issues are, are at hand. The healing is needed. Maybe that's why you need to question your integrity. Uh-oh. For some of you, this is your ex and you need to let them go. You already know that. You already know that. A lot of you already know that, but you're in denial. Why? Why? Is it because some of you have a house together? <clears throat> you own property together? You live together because of the finances? Because it'll be a struggle if you if you do it by yourself? Mm, I'm telling you, don't let your life waste. You have a soulmate that's coming in. And it could be this person that's secretly yearning for you from the past. Or it could be someone surrounding you that you have no idea that they, they have fallen for you. We'll find out. We'll find out. Let's see. One more. No? Okay. No is no. <sighs> I'm, you know what? I wasn't going to do this. But I'm going to use this deck. No. Mm, I'm going to use this deck. I'm going to pull two cards for staying with your person. But you know what? I All right. Two cards. Give me two cards if Virgo stays with their person. What's going to transpire? I don't know because this release your ex. Mm. Yeah. No. This person's not going to change. And they're hiding some things from you. It could be they're hiding finances too. But this toxicity, it, no. So there you go. If you stay with this person, the toxicity will, will still be there. I feel, I hate to say that you guys have grown apart. Okay, so I'm going to use, I was going to use that black deck, this beautiful black deck, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this deck. And I'm going to focus in on this soulmate coming in. Okay, Virgo? So... Yeah, because when spirit spits it out, like release that X, I mean, how can I sit there and um, say otherwise? Because I'm channeling it in energetically. I'm not just shuffling cards. I'm really holding in on your energy. But I know some of you wanted to know, so there you go. Okay, so focusing in on Virgo, Virgo and their love life. Who is this person? Who is this new soulmate? Give me some insight. Help me reveal what Virgo needs to know. I love how these cards dance. I swear to God, when these cards come out with flair, it's always with a, like love with the cups. Because love has this energy, this life force of its own. Someone is coming in with love, honey. This person has feelings for you. You know, I want to be so... It, this is a secret admirer. I'm saying that right now. You have a secret admirer. Your soulmate is being called in stars are aligning for this to happen your transits are changing you're entering a new period let go of the old and allow the new to come in you are strong enough to heal the family issues you are strong enough to remain a fantastic freaking parent and you are deserving of good love a healthy love a nurturing love a lively love someone that'll breathe more than life into your existence that you would have ever imagined passion i like to say explosive passion because that's a scorpio stellium in me i swear didn't i say when the cards like twirl they always are with like the cups when i'm telling you there is someone could be scorp excuse me could be scorpio cancer pisces strongly placed in their chart they could have like a water venus like venus and pisces scorpio venus or cancer venus this person has their eyes set on you they're coming for you their aim is to get you they want you they saw you they know they got to know you somehow and whatever they know even if it's a little bit they want you virgo oh, i can't should I even stop right here? I mean, this says it all. For three cards to come out for this new love, your soulmate. Yeah, honey, again, new love coming in. This is this is it. This is good. All right, give it to me. This person may have a slow approach to you. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Could also have some kind of earth placement. Okay, 
having met you and don't get me wrong. This person is very attractive. This person has people around them that are interested in them. After having met you, and you have no idea about this because they're your secret admirer for most of you. Um, they're just not interested in anybody else. They're not. And they're going to be very, very loyal. Like, loyal. And you deserve that, Virgo. Shoot, you deserve that. Yep, this is you needing to walk away from the past. They're waiting for you to kind of let that person go. Yeah, let go of the sneaky person. Do you see how I pulled the card out? The, the two cards for you, Virgo? That if you were to stay, remember how this card came out? Look at this in a different deck. Same energy with the past person. They're waiting for you to walk away from this person. They have that kind of standard. They have very high integrity, very strong integrity. Their morals are high. They're not stuck up. They're also very understanding that they understand shit happens in life. They understand because they've been through hell too. They have had their heart broken before. They're very fair. They are very fair. I'm seeing here some kind of Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Strong Libra coming through as well. You could meet them around that that those seasons. Doesn't have to be. But this person is going to be very fair. What did I say? Fair. Balance too, right? This person knows how to ground themselves. This person can also be very much into mental health, well-being. Um, could be very fit. Could be into working out, protein shakes, um, just very healing. Some of them have overcome cancer. Some some of them have overcome health ailments. Like, and they've also had, I'm also picking up some kind of ailments like where they took, like, something, they were, I'm going to say some of them were sick. Like some, this person was kind of sick for a little bit. I'm picking this up energetically and they overcame maybe something with the blood, anemic or I, I'm not, I don't, it's kind of cloudy for me, but they overcame an ailment and they changed the way they eat. And that is very important and balance and being out in sunshine. And some of them have even relocated to somewhere where it's more abundant in nature instead of the concrete jungle, also known as a city, right? Okay, wow. This person's going to transform your life. Anything that's false is going to naturally break apart. This person is also good. I'm picking up Scorpio too. Will transform your life. Yeah. You don't see this. You don't see this because you're still with this heartache, dealing with this heartache. Spirit, focus not on the past. I want to focus in on this new person, please. Focus in on this new person. Stay focusing in on this new person. And I can't help it because I keep looking at these cards and I'm pulling energy for that. So focusing in on a new person. This 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 beautiful King of Cups. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Oh gosh. Person's well to do too. They have the ability to help others financially. Some of them are in a field of helping others, like financial advisor, an attorney, an advocate. Um even in the medical field, strong-minded, strong individuals, king of wands. Some of you may have two options. Could be in the workplace. What is What are we pulling out here? They can also have fire and water placements. This could be a very vocally passionate individual. Again, with advocacy. Who's, when it comes to you, they are the king of cups, but to the world, they are king of wands. Could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo with water placements. Even in Venus, I believe, as I mentioned that before. This person can... Uh, I almost want to say this person is to be feared in public. But yeah, like I said, they could be attorneys. They're very strong in their conviction. They will go against the grain. They will stand up against everyone for what they believe is right. This person has no problems being alone either. This person does not, this person does not rely 
on validation from anybody. And this person will charge headstrong with proper thinking, like, you know, thoughts behind the actions before acting, like thoughts thinking before acting. There we go. Wow, that took, what was going on there, Tula? <laughs> That's you, Virgo, that Earth's energy. Knight of Wands, this person has passion for you. They're coming in. Okay, I feel the energy with this deck is kind of like, okay, gave all that it could. I want to use another deck, and I, I will either get confirmation or I will get more insight. Now, specifically on this individual, on Virgo's new person. You know what? On Virgo's soulmate. How about that? Let me say that. Virgo's soulmate. So there's definitely passion here. They already have feelings for you. I feel the majority of you, they are your secret admirer. They already know you or enough to know that they like you. Queen of Cups. Soulmate energy. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. You're both going to, your feelings are going to be very deep with each other. Feelings are only going to deepen as time progresses. This person's going to have you very you're gonna feel loved up yeah there we go four of wands this person wants to marry you and look at this young child for you those of you that are parents where children is a factor this person's gonna make a wonderful step parent they're gonna take on the father like figure or mother like figure if that has been lacking in your child's life they're lovingly gonna step into that role lovingly they're not going to be feeling like they're tied. They're, they're lovingly, like, you see how this person is just, like, in limbo and air, but they're just so, like, la-di-da. Like, you can almost imagine, you know, them swinging. They're going to be happy where they are with you. They want this with you. That's crazy. I think they even envisioned it. Even at this point, what it would be like being married to you, being committed, fully committed. I don't know, you have these these qualities that they just were able to see. And this is some let me say. Okay. They see who you are, how you've made sacrifices, how you work hard. They see these qualities in you without you having to highlight them. I have to say they see you for who you are. And they're enamored. They've fallen for you. The sun. Did we have the sun before? No, we had the strength. Okay. Again, Leo energy coming in. Person's going to change your life for the better. Just, just like adding light where there's shadow right now in areas of your life. There's that seven of swords energy coming back again. Yeah, that's spirit trying to show me, you know, a lot of you are still tied to this individual because a lot of you were in denial. You have to let them go. So... You know what, Virgos? I'm going to leave it at this. I have to say, with these simple messages, they were very clear. Whatever connection you're in right now that is having you question your integrity, that right there is a sign in itself. More importantly, you have a child or family issues that need focusing from you. You are innately powerful. You need to be reminded of the queen or king that you are. You are strong. Okay, you have the capability to let them go. Yes, you may struggle financially, but that'll propel you into maybe focusing on changing your career or taking on something else on the side, maybe working from home so that you can also be there for your child and or children and your life will change direction altogether. You do have a beautiful love that's coming through. Um, this is such a loving, loving reading it began that way when it started, when I started with the tarots, because it shows here someone that wants something with you in your romantic life. This is a love reading, right? And they're going to approach you and you're kind of going to see where, where, it, how you feel. I don't know if this person's a little nervous to approach you, but they just have this fire for you. They want something new for you. And it's going to lead to a very, very serious commitment something loyal, something long-term, something where you can plant your roots and someone that you can call your person. 
I loved reading this for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading as well. Please let me know down in the comments, but if you are private, believe me, I understand I'm very private as well, but I would like to know by you hitting the like button, if you align with the way I give readings and you want to be notified of future videos that I post, please be sure to subscribe. But above everything, Virgo, above everything, I want you to know that I wish you well and to stay blessed.